for me, what makes the biggest difference between some of the wins and losses are the players that have a lot of that mental space. And by space, I mean kind of that distance between them and their mental and emotional reactions. And let me give you a quick analogy that I used to think about when I was playing. I used to sometimes like almost visualize that I was in a movie theater. And just imagine sitting in the front row of the theater for a scary movie. The screen looks bigger. It almost feels like if you're, you're almost in the movie, right? And it could be overwhelming at times if you're up that close and it's harder to relax. You might be a little jumpier if, if a villain pops out, right? And a loud sound comes. So when I was playing, I would imagine that I would drift back in the movie theater. And from there, if I had more space, it was easier for me to stay centered and not affected by what was going on on the screen. You know, my thoughts and emotions. And I just feel that if you're up too close, you easily get drawn into the, the sights and sounds of your movie, which is your thoughts and emotions. So, and when you get triggered and react, it's, it's often too late. You know, those fight or flight chemicals always kick in, the cortisol and the adrenaline floods your system and you might as well be drunk because it takes you a while to sober up and think clearly again. So imagine you're watching yourself from almost behind your head just simply observing how your mind and body react in, in certain situations. And they're not always comfortable. But when there's that, that trigger that happens, there's a, just a stronger pull on your awareness, making it easier for you to lose that center. And so that space definitely minimizes the pull. And that space helps you see things more objectively, um, creates that little bit of detachment, and it's easier to play free and let something go. So how do you practice this? Just being aware and, and when you feel your body tightening or your mind racing, imagine just drifting back like you're sitting in a movie theater watching from the back row. That space, trust me, it, it buys you that important time between that stimulus and the response. And in that space, I think our true power lies and that's where we have the ability to choose how we want to respond.